blah blah blah. I should make this a beauty mark, right? The retro. Cute. Hello, pumpkin. Welcome to my channel. I'm Sarah. It is awesome to meet you. I'm an actress and also just a human being. So thank you so much for coming and visiting my channel and for watching this video. I truly appreciate it. Go ahead and help your girl out by clicking like and subscribe and giving a comment down below and watching every single video prior to this one because So today we are going to be doing two monologues. Woo -woo! Fancy, exciting, I know. We're gonna be reviewing a movie and also just talking. So the movie we're talking about today was very popular there for a hot second. You guys have probably all seen it. If not, I'm thoroughly shocked, honestly. It's called Bird Box and it was a really fun film. It's a Netflix original starring Sandra Bullock, who is awesome. She's so talented in, I don't think I've ever seen her in a movie and not just been like, dang. Also in this cast is I cannot for the life of me remember her name and I feel so terrible about it. But she was the lead in the Netflix film, Dumplin'. I got to work on Dumplin' and it was such a fun set. And also she's just such a talented actress and a good person all around. I hadn't seen her in anything prior to working with her on Dumplin', but I thought she was awesome in that. So talented, so dedicated. And then getting to see her play this other character in Bird Box was super cool to kind of like see her progress. Anyway, the cast is awesome. I think the film is really, really enjoyable. It's got a lot of good scenes in it, a lot of good character progression where you see them start out with this one mindset or this one kind of like attitude and it just transform through the film. It's one of those movies with a split timeline where it's like showing you present day, but then it says flashbacks and present day and flashbacks, present day flashbacks until it links up in the center of it. Sometimes with movies like that, I have a hard time focusing. I just have a hard time focusing in general. And so it's hard for me to realize kind of like where we are in the story and stay focused on that. But I think Bird Box did a phenomenal job in the sense that I was never confused about what I was watching or where I was. Sandra Bullock's character probably is my favorite of the film because she just goes through such a transformation. You watch her start out as like this closed off, cynical, sarcastic character and just see her kind of transform into this bad A, kick butt woman who has a heart and is feeling and it's really beautiful to watch. In the beginning of the film, she is pregnant, which always hits close to home for me. Not because I am pregnant, obviously, but I am a nanny, so I'm always spending time with children. And I just love kids, so it's always like, anything to do with like motherhood just really tears my heart. And just being in that world that Sandra Bullock's character is living in, and having to deal with a pregnancy through that and then raising kids, it's just, oh, so crazy. Kindness and Learn to Quiet Place, which is also a really fantastic movie. Emily Blunt, I think, plays the mother in that. And oh my gosh, she was so good. She's giving birth in one of the scenes. And I'm like literally sitting on the edge of my seat, like just freaking out, not breathing, holding my breath, like going through this experience with her. It was so good. Oh my gosh, I really wanna watch Quiet Place again now because it's just a great movie. It's a very similar like idea where it's kind of like they've taken away one of our senses or one of our ways of communication. Just show them having to survive without that. It's an interesting idea. I like that they've done this, but also I've seen it in like five movies at this point. So it's kind of getting over that. Those two are probably my favorites of that story concept. I also really like Bird Box because it's one of those movies where it's like a thriller and it's like kind of creepy. It's like just scary enough, sort of. I enjoy being scared. I enjoy that heart racing, like ah, kind of a thing, but I don't like it when it's super duper realistic. Like I feel like it could happen to me. And I also don't like it when it's just nasty, like gory grossness. Or if it's like super demonic, that creeps me out and I don't like it either. I will say there is a good bit of language in it. So if that's not your cup of tea, probably not the best movie for you, but it's definitely less than a lot of movies as well. I've also really been dying to make this video because I said so long ago that I was going to do a video around Bird Box and I never got around to it. So why George, I'm gonna get it out there and do it. And so I've just been dying to hear it finally is my people enjoy. <laughs> I 
11 people watch me through my window. Okay, listen up. I'm only going to say it once. We're going on the trip now. It's going to be rough. It's going to feel like it's going on for a very long time. So it's going to be hard to stay alert and even harder to stay quiet. But you have to do both. You have to do every single thing I say or we will not make it. Do you understand? It'll be cold. We have blankets. Boy, you have your dog. Girl, you have your kitty. This is simply a place. There's nothing more we need from it. Under no circumstances are you allowed to remove your blindfolds. If I find out you have, I will hurt you. Do you understand? And no talking on the river. If you hear something in the water, you tell me. If you hear something in the woods, you tell me. But you never, ever take off your blindfolds. If you look, you will die. Do you understand? Also, I forgot to tell you guys, I'm wearing these great Christmas socks. Can you see them? I don't know. Can you? Oh, that was such a good stretch. You guys do not even know. Such a good stretch. Girl! 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 I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, sweet girl. I shouldn't have been so harsh. I shouldn't have stopped you from playing. I shouldn't have ended Tom's story when he wasn't finished because he wasn't finished yet. When he climbed the top of that very tall oak tree, do you know what he saw? He saw beautiful things. He saw hundreds of children playing, hundreds. And he saw birds, all different colored birds. He saw, he saw us together. So we have to be together. We just have to, okay? Because it's not just a story. There's still so much I want to show you, so much I want you to see, but we have to do it together. So please, please just come to my woods. Please, sweet girl, just come to my woods. We have to do it together. We have to. Are there tears in that one? Too bad I messed up the... Dialogue. So I hope you guys enjoyed those little monologues. They were fun to do. They're really intense scenes in the film. It's hard to make them so intense when it's just me in front of a white curtain. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. I would give this film four out of five avocados. I would definitely give it four out of five. It's a good film. The story is really good. It's not just one of those like, there's a monster, it's scary, whatever, because you're following along a lot of different characters and getting to love them and care for them and like, either root for them or hope they die. There's a lot of good characters. It's suspenseful, you don't know what's gonna happen. There's a lot of good scenes in it. In the beginning, it's showing Mallory with her sister. And I, of course, love those scenes because I'm a sister. And just kind of like the back and forth and the pace they have together seems really natural and it's really well done, really fun. Reminds me of me and my sisters, especially when they're calling each other dumb dumb and things like that. There's also a scene in the film, I'm not going to say what it is, but it's a pop tart scene, which I really love. It's a sweet scene, pun intended. And there's also scenes that frustrate me. Like there's this female cop character in it who in the beginning is all like, yeah, like whatever. And then she kind of like bends her morals later on in the film because it's the end of the world, which just irks me a lot. Girls, respect yourself. Please. Okay. I don't care if it's the end of the world or what. Respect yourself. Because if you don't respect yourself, how are you expecting someone else to respect you? That's all I'm saying, girl. That's all I'm saying. This film has like a monster 
I guess, but they don't actually ever show it, which is cool. Kind of leaves it to your own imagination to figure out what you think it would look like, which almost makes it scarier because then it is what is scary to you and not what's scary to someone else that you're kind of envisioning, which is cool. I've watched it twice now and enjoyed it both times. But sometimes not even a whole watch through of a movie is enough. You know, like you're, the other day I was watching a movie, I literally could not make it through half because the story was just so dumb. I slept instead. And that's saying something because I don't like sleep. Thank you guys so much for joining me for this video. I had fun making it. I hope you guys had fun watching it. I'm super excited for my camera to come home because I'm, I don't know what my phone's gonna do. I don't know how this even looks. I'm excited to have you guys follow me along in this journey. I will link down below my social media accounts for you guys to follow along as well. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Give me a comment down below. I really do appreciate it. Share this video with your friends. Show it to your mom and your grandma and whoever else you know. Just show it to everyone. You guys are awesome. I'm super, super thankful for y'all. I'll have another video out for you guys next Saturday. Hopefully it's a good one. Don't know what it's gonna be yet. I'll see y'all then. Bye. Ooh, that air sounds creepy.